Hey viewers, look what's arrived today. My Renergy 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter. I bought this Renergy because the reason was on sale. And also I was totally impressed with the 3000 watt Renergy inverter that I bought. I was really, really impressed with it. That's it there, my 3000 watt Renergy pure sine wave inverter. It's, it's really awesome guys, it, this thing rocks. It really does. I use this every day. It runs a 2400 watt kettle and runs my household fridge both at the same time. Not a problem at all. Just beware guys, they do suck the battery power. So make sure you got sufficient battery power. I've got four batteries hooked up to this baby and I've got three solar panels up on the roof. So back to the shed. I've just got it. I've got it hooked up to the lithium battery. Pretty much this is what you get. You get the cable, you plug it in there. This plugs into a power point. Your, say your computer, you plug it in here. Okay, that's running off the power. Of course, you've got the battery hooked up to the inverter. When your main power is interrupted, this will switch over automatically to take the power off the battery and it'll keep your computer running. Just for an example, but that's all that's for. So you get that and you get the remote. That's your remote switch. You plug that in there, into the inverter. So that's actually off. All right, you put that on two. So now this runs off the switch. So you switch it on from here and you switch it off from here. So this is ideal if you've got a camper or you've got this somewhere tucked away, hidden, and this is your switch panel, you just turn it on and off from here. Yeah, you get that. I'll plug the glue gun in. Just got a glue gun. That will turn it on. Power's on. There's the power on there. Now, what are we using? 9.6 amps, 125 watts, 120. That's what it's using so far. It's getting warm, but we'll take this out. This is an electric jug I keep in my vehicle. This runs about nine, just over 900 watts. So this is a low power consumption kettle. We'll see how she goes. So I'll plug it in, turn it on. She's on. And she's pulling some power. 72 and a half amps, 930 watts. She's making a bit of a racket. I don't know if that noise is normal or... But that is doing some work, guys. So when the, um, the inverter sits idle, it's using about 770 milliamps. So it doesn't, it uses bugger all sitting idle. It doesn't use much at all. All right, here's a bit of a test here. Now, this is about 1,050 watts. My Jandel only ran this 30 seconds to a minute. It, um, it threw out, it threw the safety out on the inverter. So we'll see how this um, energy goes with this hot water urn. Okay, this runs about 1,050 watts on the badge. She's drawing, here we go, about 1,070 watts, that's 1 1.07 kilowatts. Oh no, she's thrown out. It's exactly the same what my GNDL did. But anyway, that gives you an idea. I've been pretty impressed with Renergy products, guys. I really have. But anyway, it's early days. I've only just got this. As you do, you get something and you play around with it. Nine fifty watt. It runs fine. Boiling this jug, it runs fine. Yeah, I don't know if that noise is normal, guys, or what the go is. Hmm, I don't know. I suppose I'd make that sound too if I had a thousand watts run through me. Anyway. But there she is. 
So she's pulling 75 amps, 953 watts. Oops, got a bit full. So yeah, I will do a video later on on this round inverter. I've got a lithium box build coming up that I want to use it for. I'll do another video in say six months time to let you know how it's all going. But till then, thanks very much and catch you later. Bye.